So far, things have uh, kind of behaved themselves as far as the storms. They've remained below severe limits. We've had some very gusty winds, though, out ahead of this cold front, and we're not out of the woods just yet. East Alabama could still see a few strong or severe storms kind of heading through the afternoon. And the good news is the front's moving through pretty quickly, and so by 4 o'clock, we expect that most of this threat is going to be shifting east of us, and actually the cold front should be through the area, much of the area by 4 o'clock. There's still the threat that we could see a couple of storms uh, strengthen enough to where we do have some damaging wind gusts on the order of 60 miles an hour. And you can see as we're kind of looking off into the western sky in Birmingham, it's getting very dark now with uh, some of those storms approaching the metro area. It's currently 77. The wind out of the southwest, so that tells us the front has not uh, moved to through Birmingham just yet. And there you can see the skinny band of thunderstorms. There's really not been a lot of thunder and lightning, and so it's kind of just some very heavy downpour, some heavier showers uh, that are now moving through western sections of Jefferson County, uh, kind of close to on and now, but this is the actual front. This is the leading edge of the front. So once it kind of moves through your area, temperatures will drop. It'll pour down, but just for a very brief period of time, as you can see just how narrow that band of showers is. And then look at temperatures behind the front dropping into the 50s and 60s now in Tuscaloosa. It has yet to move through Birmingham, but Adrian, once it does, likely within the next 15 to 20 minutes or so, you will notice it. You will feel a huge difference. Yeah, quick downpour, Steph, uh, very gusty winds, and then those temperatures dropping throughout the rest of our Monday. So again, look at some of these winds gusting out of the south 20, 30, 35 miles an hour. That's ahead of the front. Then the front comes through winds shift to out of the northwest and that cooler air moves in by 2 p.m. The line of heavier rain moving across eastern portions of the state that all gets out of here later this afternoon. We're quiet for this evening overnight tonight, but we're not done with the rain just yet. It's going to return. More moisture comes up from the southwest as we move through our Tuesday, especially Tuesday afternoon through the evening into the overnight hours. Some locally heavy rainfall certainly possible. No severe weather, though, anticipated with any of that activity during the day on Tuesday. Check out some of these temperatures as they fall throughout the afternoon and into the evening. We're in the 50s, then eventually the 40s in uh, much of central Alabama later on tonight. Some spots in the upper 30s tomorrow afternoon. We are only warming up into the 50s. That's it. 50s for high temperatures for our Tuesday. Impact weather again for Tuesday as the rain returns. Chance for showers lingers into Wednesday morning. Thursday looks dry for the most part. Clouds stick around. It'll be mild. More rain, more thunderstorms in the forecast on Friday and then turning significantly colder for next weekend. Lows below freezing down into the 20s. Daytime highs Saturday struggling to reach the lower 40s. Rick. Okay, well